Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. We are heading to Lake Placid in upstate New York and we thought we'd do some antiquing along the way. Our first stop is at Zaborski Emporium. We're gonna take you along, show you a little haul at the end and let you know what our favorite spots are. Let's go. Okay, on the first look, this is more like architectural salvage, which I think is really cool. Anybody need a massive Babe, what is that? Oh, am I still filming here? Yeah, you're still filming. Tons of gorgeous sconces, two spoons. Look at the patina on this. Just to give you an idea of pricing, it's $175 for the pair. It's definitely a lot of digging, but there's a lot of good stuff here. rod is so beautiful. I don't know what it's like. Maybe it could be a towel rod. I like want it and I don't have something for it. We were just heading out and we were informed that there's four floors. <laughs> so this place is packed. <laughs> I have something for you. Don't scare me. Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> I have a present for you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they have a lot of dishware here um, to look through, which is super fun. Oh my gosh, I literally see something on the top shelf I want. What? The teapot. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's hilarious. No, I'm not joking. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing. Right here. That blue one. Does it have a top though? Oh my gosh. So, that was fun. There's a lot to dig through. And if we had more time. And if we had more time, we could really like pick through, but it also is a lot more architectural salvage stuff. But we did get something we'll show you at the end. The prices are good. On to the next. Ready? As the thing I got, look, it's coping. Hey, so awesome. oh, All right, so this is definitely oh, a more yeah, beauty. A really cool bench. Okay, Beekman Arms Antique Shop was really well curated. Definitely a higher price, but we did get one thing, but it was just like a breath of fresh air. And also the town is so cute. Mm. This place is huge. If you, this is perfect if you had a restaurant or like a coffee shop and you put this along the back and then you put all your bread and that would be awesome. All things considered, I feel like it's not that expensive. I mean, it's a massive piece it's of It's huge. Furniture. Oh, this is stunning. It's 7.50. I love this bistro table. It's pretty. These chairs, a set of eight for 2,400. Do you like that room? That's very mid-century. Do you like that stuff? <laughs> oh my word. This pine hutch, it's from the 1800s. Pine cabinet with two doors. Wow, gorgeous, 2850. What is it? Peekaboo, <laughs> I don't know. Man, this would be a cool desk. 1200. I want these spheres. Oh, 360. These are so beautiful. Are you kidding me? It's 450. And these chairs are incredible. Okay, but imagine using this as a fire pit. What? 
so cool. I was just admiring this desk and looked up and saw this. I'm sorry, what? Okay, the antique warehouse in Hudson is like, it's amazing. It's full of amazing things. And if you're looking to furnish a home, like you can find so many quality furniture pieces there, but it's definitely not like you're not finding deals. Like it's, it's quite pricey, I would say. I mean, some well, for- for what you're getting, it's like a fair price. But you're just not finding deals. Yeah. It's like you're going and you're investing in quality pieces that are worth that money. But if you're looking to get a deal, like maybe not worth your time, but very fun to look through. What a cute little town. Brief interruption, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, you wanna dive deeper in how to source vintage for your own home, if you wanna see extended home tours from our series Design Within Reach, plus live calls and masterclasses, head to the link here, somewhere here, and also in our description, and sign up for the waitlist for our membership coming soon. You're not gonna to wanna to miss out on this. Red chair on Warren Street in Hudson, unbeatable like out of this world. She ships everything over from France. So she's got tons of Willy Ghoul pieces, gorgeous antique hutches. It's like stunning. Definitely pricey, but if you have a bigger budget and you are looking to find a really special piece, especially one that takes up like more real estate in your home, oh my gosh, I would 100% go there and splurge a little on something beautiful because they're out of this world. Now we're heading up to Lake Placid. Hopefully we'll be able to stop at a few places in Lake Placid and find some more goodies from this weekend. Stay tuned. Taking a quick break okay. from antiquing, we are in Lake Placid and we're gonna go dog sledding. Photo bomb. That's my dad. Guys, as God would have it, there is an antique shop literally right next to our lodge They're, that we're staying in. Yeah, it's insane. So. We're gonna make you into the ultimate antique queen, sourcing all the beautiful things like your auntie. Look at this dress. Well, you guys, there were some beautiful pieces, especially that China set. I just wanted to buy that right up, but it was definitely pricier. All right, you guys, we had a wonderful weekend in Lake Placid. We're on our way home. We're stopping at one last antique shop on the way home. Let's see what we get. Honestly, I could totally see that in some designer's home as like some sculpture or piece. If you've ever been antiquing, you know there comes a point where your eyes become glazed over and it's like you just start to get like a headache and you're, it sounds dramatic, but it happens especially in these big antique malls. So right now I'm gonna go look out the window and take a few deep breaths and continue on. It sounds dramatic, but I'm telling you, it helps.
Those have to just like look up. Yeah. Wanna give us a little update? We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, and fun. I found most of it. So. And you did find a lot of what we got today. It's called so. the Andrew Collection. <laughs> so we'll be doing a little haul. If you wait two Aww. seconds. We are back home. We laid out all of our finds from this weekend. And Andrew found so many things. You're getting better. I'm gonna start and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite pieces I found this weekend. By the way, I'm saving the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate find for the end. So you gotta stick around. This is a piece that I'm keeping. This blue Delft style. I don't know if it's genuine. I mean, what does it say on the bottom? Democratic. This was on the tippy top shelf of this massive warehouse. I don't even know how I saw it, but I think because I've been looking for this style, I like spotted it and I'm in love. But I think it's perfect. Yeah, so. totally perfect. All right, so I'll show you all my first find. By the way, all of my finds will be available for sale. I don't believe in keeping pieces for myself because I can't make money doing that. <laughs> so, you know, let's start off with my least favorite find, which I'll probably catch some heat for, but it's these candlesticks. They're beautiful. They're nice and heavy. You don't say your least favorite find. Well, it's, it's my least favorite. They're well, just not my favorite. Like, I would, out, of all, out of all of the things I got, these would be the last thing. But you put still love them, home. otherwise. I still you like would. them. I'm like. personally not obsessed with them. I just know okay. the vibes and styles these days. Maybe. I mean, if Bridget approved them. I, <laughs> I love be. them. My turn! I'm gonna put them here. Since you showed something silver, I'll show something silver. And that is the silver shell bowl. You know I love shells. It's made in England. Think about like a boring like white bowl from Crate and Barrel. I love Crate and Barrel. There's some beautiful pieces, but imagine that and then imagine serving whatever you want in it. Some some, some candies. Some candies. For Valentine's Day. Yeah. Some kisses. So you can have a simple white foil. bowl that doesn't have much character or you could put some candies in this beautiful silver shell bowl. I would go for this. Love it. Coming to the shop soon. I think I'll carry along in the shell theme. I have quite a few shells to show you today. So I'm gonna start with my least favorite. Stop I'm <laughs> saying least favorite, he's still So No, I'm joking. Them. So I'm gonna start with this. It's a set of two little silver shell uh, dishes. These are just the perfect <laughs> dish for you know your dresser or maybe a little side table. Put jewelry in these bad boys. You could also put like peanuts, like my Grammy probably would. What? I did that. <laughs> All right, my next find, silver plate, set of four, little shell dishes. These are prime for salt and pepper. Jewelry on your, uh, your nightstand. <laughs> they nest with one another, which is such a good feature. <laughs> Don't interject. Okay. They're really special, as Bridget would say, very special. All right, this next find you're gonna think is not cute, but just wait. So it's an alabaster, alabaster, alabaster pedestal bowl. It has these, in my opinion, ugly fruits on top, but I'm confident that we'll be able to remove them. They were like glued in after the fact. I think this one's really beautiful. The shape is really pretty, and we just gotta get these ugly fruit out of here. All right, so this is a mirror tray. Look, I'm not huge on mirror trays anymore, but this one, the details on the edges, it's special, as Bridget would say. I love this. I have a mirror tray in our bedroom with all my perfume and jewelry on it, and it's so pretty. Anybody noticed spam mustache in the comments down below? Spam mustache? Yeah, it means comment. Oh. But like a lot of times. Just if you notice my mustache, spam mustache down below. <laughs> I got a couple books. I love this red lettering on the white fabric. And this has just so many beautiful images in it. And then I also got this Italian painting book, which if you take off the cover, has a really pretty deep green um, cover with gold lettering, so. Y'all are lucky I'm letting this one come to the shop because I'm obsessed, so buy it. I got a show too because I have so many more than you. It's a shame. It's a set of six matching Mother of Pearl spoons and then one like, just like slide outcasts. Look at the little pointy bottom. Yeah, the pointy bottom. 
them. I actually have spoons like this without the pointy bottom that I use as coffee stirs. It makes it so happy. Little spoons like this, or like if you put it in a little bowl with olives and this is how you get your olives. How much happier is that? Uh, my next find, a little silver plate bud vase. Okay, I have, did you smell me? <laughs> Not intentionally. All right, let's go. I have two more finds for you guys. The final one being my favorite, but. Those are hefty. These are hefty. We love a dramatic candelabra, don't we? <laughs> yes, I love them. <laughs> and these silver plated candelabras are like the perfect centerpiece. And you can use them for like at home workouts. Yeah, that's good too. Which is nice. All right, you wanna you, go show them off? You literally almost killed me. Okay, show your finds now before the best one of all. All right, so second to last. This was another shell item that I found. Very unique and Bridget just demonstrated what it's used for. It's a door knocker. And last but not least, for I Anna. found this. It's a butter pat. We recently had a set of butter pats on our store and they went like hotcakes. So buy yours today. No, <laughs> no. I actually want to keep this one. And we're not keeping it. <laughs> See, it's that easy. You can use it also for your jewelry. You don't have to use it as a butter pat, but it is so sweet and I love it. And now last, but for sure not least. No, no, not least. Ew, stop. <laughs> you guys, I love alabaster, marble, all the stones. And this alabaster bird bath slash pedestal bowl is... And straight up, I have literally only ever seen one other one of these that's this big. Just to demonstrate, this is like what the normal one is. This is not for sale. This is that's ours a baby from our one. coffee table. And this is That's mommy. like normally what they look like. So when we saw this one, <laughs> safe to say our jaws hit the floor. <laughs> Am I right? You can also remove the birds. So if you're not into the birds, you can remove them. Let us know in the comments. We're thinking either selling this or using it as a giveaway on our Instagram, which make sure to follow us at Tazori Home. So let us know what you think we should do. And if you want to shop these, head over to our shop, shoptazori.com, and you can sign up for our newsletter via the link in our bio, and we'll give you, send you an email when these are live on our site, so you don't want to miss out, but... Ciao. Ciao.